All right guys, so in my last video, I talked all about kind of the science behind a growth regulator, the Tenex, and today we're actually gonna be applying it, putting it down, and so if you missed that last video and you don't really know um, all the details about a plant growth regulator, go check that video out. Uh, but basically, today what we're gonna need is a really good quality sprayer. This is not something that you wanna put down with, uh, with just a, an uncalibrated sprayer so this is my my four sons with a good fan tip on it um, it's really important to make sure when you're getting that application rate exact because if you mess up with with plant growth regulator it can really do some damage to your lawn so this is not something uh, that I'd ever recommend that you do um, if you don't have a great sprayer so the next thing you need is a measure uh, this actually works out perf perfect for me. This came with my Quali Pro Quinn Chlorac, which is my crabgrass killer. But uh, for my lawn, since I have 3,000 square feet, I actually need uh, a quarter ounce per thousand. And so this actually has a measurement at 0.75 ounces, which is exactly the amount of Tenex that I need to apply. So that's what I'm putting in today. Also, anytime I apply Tenex, I like to always throw down some iron with it. Um, and so this is the green effect uh, by Green County Fertilizer, the next product. I use all their products, great stuff. Um, so I'm gonna put down eight ounces per thousand today of that. Uh, so a total of 24 ounces. And then just a few other things that I wanna talk about. Um, anytime you're spraying applications or even spreading, get you a good pair of rubber boots just to keep yourself safe. Uh, also a good pair of rubber gloves. Uh, these are, I think I bought these on Amazon, Venom Steel. Uh, they're really heavy duty gloves. And so what these will do is they're not ever going to rip on you or anything like that. And uh, you can see the quality and the fit is perfect. So it's like not even wearing gloves. Um, get you a, a good a mixer. This I just attached to my drill. Um, but what this will do is make sure the product is mixed thoroughly. And, uh, neighbor, appreciate that uh, that loud exhaust, buddy. Good job. Uh, but yeah, so let's get started. So always start out by putting about um, half of what the water you're going to need in in your sprayer before you put any chemicals. So to start off, I'm going to I'm going to do four gallons. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it with two gallons right now. So you always want to kind of shake that up well. I've already pre-shaken it, but make sure you shake your product before you ever try to pour it in. And then again, when you go to pour, whatever the size is for your yard, make sure you get it exact. So today we're doing three quarters of an ounce. That's a quarter ounce per thousand feet. So exact. Not a lot of product. And you notice this comes in a gallon size, so this is gonna last me for, for a long time. I'm gonna pour that in. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my liquid iron. So, just to, again, I talked a little bit in the last video, I think, about uh, using liquid iron maybe I didn't mention that but ultimately when you put this growth regulator down you're suppressing growth um, but you still want that dark green color and the growth regulator will actually help with that with the amount of chlorophyll and so forth but adding iron in uh, with the growth regulator will just ensure that extra green uh, that dark green color um, and so that really helps, um, I think, make the lawn look great. And then sometimes, too, with, when you apply the growth regulator, you will get a little bit of a, a yellowing effect at first. And so this kind of helps counterbalance that. And so that's why I always put it down. Uh, but I, I, put, I put this down usually every two weeks anyway. So this isn't something out of the ordinary. I think a, a small dose of iron is great. So I'm going to do eight ounces per thousand. So for me, that's 24 ounces. So it really doesn't matter exactly how much water you use. 
use. Um, I always just fill up my sprayer because I have it calibrated on based on my walking speed for the whole yard. I typically put four and a half gallons down one with one pass. But really I would just say at least put one gallon per thousand uh, square feet. Uh, and so, but today we're gonna just go ahead and fill it all the way up to four and a half gallons. All right, so last thing I said is get you a, get you a mixer and hook it up to your drill. Uh, what this will do is make sure that everything is really stirred in well. This may not always be necessary, but I always do it just to be thorough. So we're about to go ahead and spray this down and, and a little tip uh, and trick that might help you out uh, if you spray this in the morning uh, with the morning dew on the grass what that'll do is it'll allow you to kind of see exactly where you've sprayed you know you could also use marking dye and different things like that uh, but morning dew is a perfect time to go ahead and apply this uh, and so you'll kind of see as i'm spraying that it'll actually leave a really good mark in that dew and so you want to make sure uh, again at this point that you kind of know that your spread on your sprayer and make sure that there's just very little overlap so let's go ahead and get started All right guys, so it's been three days since I have applied the PGR and I wanted to give you a look at what I was talking about with the uh, bronzing effect that you're gonna get the first time you apply this each season. Um, it, it does put a little bit of a strain on the turf. Uh, so you can kind of see down in there that each blade has that, that little yellow or bronze tint to it. Uh, and so the good news is, is that's not going to be the case after every application, assuming you're putting it down at the appropriate rate. Um, but the first application of the year, you can expect to, for it to look like this. And so it's not super appealing. It definitely uh, causes the grass to have a little bit of a setback. Uh, but the good news is, and what I wanted to share with you is the results just after three days on the actual growth suppression. It's pretty phenomenal how fast this works. It's almost instantaneous. And so what I did is I measured the clippings of my entire mow, uh, you know, pre t -nex application. And then I measured that clip rate. And then I measured uh, the clip rate after the t -nex application and the, the results are just phenomenal. So we'll take a look at that now. All right, so you can see I used a five gallon bucket and I'll show you the measurements here in a little bit. But this was uh, the five gallon bucket after or before the T-Nex application. You can see that bucket was almost full and that's, um, that's a cut after with 48 hours of growth. And then now I'll show you the bucket uh, with this is three days after applying the T-Nex, um, again with 48 hours of growth time. And you can see that the actual clip rate uh, is almost reduced by 50%, which to me is just absolutely phenomenal. When you consider uh, even the, uh, the data on the website 
shows that you can expect about a 20% suppression. And so I've, I've always found in real life that uh, the suppression rate is actually far exceeding that. And maybe it's just with the way that it responds to the hybrid Bermuda, but uh, I get a, close to a 50% suppression rate. And ultimately what that means to me as a homeowner is that I'm gonna have to mow my lawn less often. And so really I've been mowing every other day and that's barely keeping up with the one third rule. And now uh, I will potentially be able to mow every fourth day. And so that's gonna be really eliminating two mows a week, which is a big time game changer, especially with a busy schedule. And if, when I go out on vacation and I have to have someone come mow my lawn, Obviously, they're not going to come be able to mow my lawn every other day. And so now, basically, once or twice a week is much more manageable than four times a week. And so it really is a game changer. And I'll continue to post updates on the other uh, advantages of the growth regulator. Like I said in the last video, uh, I talked about all those advantages. Uh, but I'll kind of show those uh, in in real life in my lawn the effects so it's not just me talking about it it's uh, you'll actually see the results you'll see the lawn thickening up uh, you'll see the deep green color you'll see the seed head suppression all the many uh, advantages that i spoke about in the last video i'll i'll also link uh, that last video uh, here at the end of this one so you can kind of get to that if you haven't already seen that and as always if you uh, are new to the channel uh, hit subscribe and uh, that'll make sure that you get access to weekly lawn care tips for the average homeowner. Uh, with, I specialize in warm season grass, more specifically in Bermuda lawns. But thank you for watching. You guys get out there and enjoy the mow.